let's shift gears a little bit. Uh, joining us now is Chuck Haskin and uh, and uh, Bill uh, or Jim Hubbard. And uh, thanks for joining us, guys. And no um, you have a lot to talk about. We have uh, uh, a big event for you uh, this uh, every year is the Buddy Poppy Sales. Let's talk about that. When when can people expect to see you guys out on the uh, on the streets? Well, starting this Friday, April twenty sixth. We'll be at most of the Kroger's in their area, seven of them, from the 26th, 27th, and 28th. Then the following two weekends, we'll be out at uh, Ace Hardware, um, okay, on some of the streets around the area. We'll be at uh, Bass Pro, we'll be at Sam's Club, mm. we'll be at McDonald's, and am I missing many? Yeah, no. pretty well covered. Got most of them there, Oh, Tractor Supply. Mm -hmm. We're trying to stay off the streets. Right, We're trying right, to yeah. be a more business oriented if they invite us in because, face it, we're getting of an age, it's hard to dodge cars. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's on their cell phone now, not paying too much attention to the road anymore. So we've decided to kind of change our gears, uh, go to storefronts, uh, maybe get a little less money, but a lot more safer mm -hmm. yeah. for all of us. Uh, it's just a point in our lives we can't do what we can and that's it yeah yep. and having these stores support us yeah by letting us in because there's a lot of places they won't let you in right yeah so having right. our agreement with kroger's and sam's club and bass pro allows us to do our thing there yeah what about the veterans memorial there's, there's going to be a presence there there will be at the memorial for poppies bob watchers is always there he's been there for <laughs> 20 years and he, that's his his little his little area yeah. but uh, he does a, a yep. wonderful job at the memorial and memorial services are coming up pretty soon so yeah. and again we'll talk about that a little later but yeah yeah uh, it, it's just uh, what we do you know to yeah. support our community and it's a big thing we'll uh, talk about uh, that the funds that you raise with the poppies what, what kind of programs do you support it supports everything that the community does. Uh, fish organization, uh, one of our largest donations is to the National Home for Children. Oh, great. The National Home for Children needs all our support. Whether you're a member or not, mm -hmm. you can join there and help uh, all the veterans that are there at the National Home. Uh, at the present time, we have like 139 children being supported by veterans. Mm -hmm. There's no government assistance there. It's all supported by veterans through the Poppy program. You know, we g give a lot of money there to help support all our children and adults that are there with problems. Yeah. So, so people should really open up their wallet when they see you guys. <laughs> oh, yes, they have. Absolutely. As Jim mentioned, we go with fish. We were here earlier on that. We sponsor two shelves, so $2,400 there. That's great. And um, we have the uh, Patriot Pin Voice of Democracy with all the schools in the area right. where we try to pick out a patriotic theme every year and have the kids participate. That's fantastic. We spend close to $10,000 yep. on all those schools, giving right. out purple awards and prizes and that, all that out there. Yep. So a lot of things in the community we try to help so out. So it's well worth uh, donating. Like I say, everything we do to, for all our donations that we receive every year, we give away to the community. That's fantastic. We don't bank anything. Mm -hmm. We do anything, and uh, we solve a lot of problems too. If there happens to be a veteran that needs some help, we take care of that too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's why we're the organization we are. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's right. Now you said you're you're losing more members than are signing up. Uh, uh -huh. What can you say to uh, veterans out there who've served overseas? Uh, why should they join? What benefits are there to them? Well. One thing would be a big help to us. We are getting older, and every hand makes the load a little easier. So uh, we do the, what, what we can with what we have, but if we have a little more help along the way, and, and we are not going to ask any new member to do anything that he wouldn't want to do. I mean, he could do the parades, he could do, you know, pick out something special at the memorial or whatever, but uh, everybody's got their little thing that they like to do. So we pretty much orient uh, whoever joins to anything they'd like to do. So it's not, every program isn't for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, like some can't come out in the evenings and we, you know, some do the day programs and stuff. And so it, it all works out in the end, yeah. but well, every but hand helps. We have somebody still working. You can't do it during the week, but yeah. if you get something going on the weekend, they can attend that one type. So what we offer veterans out there is a place to come back and be with other veterans mm. and 
really veterans of veterans, that comradeship, it goes over the ages. So, uh, you know, if you'd be 19 years old, 65 years old, you could sit there and talk forever. Yeah. So uh, we offer that. Yeah. And by helping join our organization, we make sure they get all the benefits that they have coming from. Because a lot of veterans out there do not know what the VA is, mm. what the VA programs are to help them all out. And uh, I ran into a gentleman that uh, last week lives here in uh, Oxford, but uh, he needed some uh, help because financially, with the way the economy is right now, he has a choice, food or medicine. Mm. So it's one or the other. Mm. So I went to see what we could do to help him out. Well, he's telling me he's been going to the VA for medical care since he got out of the service. And he's got this wrong with him, he's got this wrong, this wrong, this wrong, and he was a Vietnam vet. And there's programs out there for Vietnam vet to cover every one of those. And he could be basically 100% disabled and be getting a disabled check from the VA just by filing those mm. things. He should have filed them 50 years, years ago. ago. Right. But wow. he, he was he not aware. Yeah. And he goes down to the hospital every week. So, wow. um, yeah. Now, there's certain requirements to be to be a member of VFW. Is that correct? Yeah. A veteran from a foreign war. You have to be in a foreign war. Yeah. Right. Like I couldn't, for example. I was foreign war. My foreign war was Argentina, but Newfoundland. But still doesn't. He, he's still giving you the opportunity to join the American Legion and help right. that yeah. way. Right. I'm never going to knock any other uh, organization because you could fit anywhere, and, right. and just as long as you're helping veterans. Yeah. Sure. We, we've had veterans come to us before join. We look at the information. It says, oh, you haven't served in an overseas um, a conflict. Right. But the American Legion can help you out. Right. You've got a disability that, that uh, disabled American veterans can help you out, the DAV. Mm -hmm. So there's other places you can go and get help and join. Sure. So, yeah. but. I'd like to also mention that I do enjoy, we've been just lately invited to several schools yeah. to talk about the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. In fact, tomorrow evening we're going again to talk about uh, the Vietnam War to, to school students. Uh, they're studying uh, the different wars, World War II, World War I, and now they're into the chapter of the Vietnam era, and we've been invited. And I do enjoy going and answering the questions that they like to ask. Sure. And, uh, and right. maybe I'm a little blunt, but war is war, mm -hmm. and they need to understand uh, what happened and, and uh, the steps that were taken and why we were there, and uh, everyone has their opinion, and, yeah. and yeah. I think they have really appreciated it, especially uh, the last group of children that we met at the Lake Orion School. It was yeah. really a nice uh, whole day plan. Well, on the 31st, we're in school right here. Um, I can't think of it, right here. <laughs> Oak, 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 Oak School. Oak yeah. School. Yeah. Uh, that we're doing. We're going there on uh, May thirty first. Yeah. Yep. Is this all? Is this all Highland. grades that you that you uh, do? Talk, yeah. Or do you do just tomorrow night? We're going to go see some high school kids. Right. Okay. And basically, as our senior, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of juniors because that's one of the history class happens. Yeah. Right. And uh, this school is a Lake Point, in Highland, Michigan. Yep. They got a request and they have anybody over to talk to them. So mm -hmm. come on over. Could you guys go over there and talk to them tomorrow right. for a couple hours and answer their questions? Yep. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, great. So we're doing that. We do enjoy the community. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And if we're asked to do things, uh, rather supply wheelchairs, we have lots of wheelchairs. Walkers, we have lots of walkers. I, I even in my garage have several electric wheelchairs. So if anybody needs one, I've got that ability to handle pretty much anything that a veteran in our community needs. Yeah. So we do have that available too. So. Uh, one we, thing I want to talk about uh, with the few minutes we have left is uh, we're a little over a month away, but uh, Lake Orion goes all out on Memorial Day with multiple yeah. events and oh, ceremonies so all the same day. Let's first thing in the morning. That. Yeah. So first thing in the that. morning. Well, I really enjoy. I take it, uh, real pride in. Uh, the mornings with the 5K and yeah. the five mile run, I pass, my wife and I pass out little flags to all the runners. <laughs> so either they fun. take them with them or get them on the way back. But it's so much fun. Remember a few years ago when we had like 35 or 40? Yeah. Now we have hundreds and all for the support of the memorial. What a wonderful, 
wonderful program that is. We have some video from last year's event, if you oh, can roll that's that in. Nice. And just to get an idea of the turnout that we have there. So there's oh, two there's, races that yep. morning. There's mm -hmm. a 5K mm -hmm. and then I a think five a, mile. a five mile. Yep. So it's two different start times. So Look they're at all, all those finishing critters, at the yeah. same time. Yeah. And so that starts uh, by Children's Park right over there by the Arts Center. And that's really great to see. Uh, they go out onto Pain Creek Trail, yeah. uh, reach a certain point, turn around and come back and cross the finish line and everyone gets the flags and medals and yep. uh, it's a lot of fun. It's yeah. really amazing. Yeah, to the see township that actually gives them a wonderful medal to put yeah. on their neck yeah. and certificates too. Now, while that's going on, uh, there's uh, ceremonies going yep. on. That is <laughs> Evergreen Cemetery? Yeah, or, I believe so. And so there's a ceremony there at the, the war monument that's there. And yeah. uh, that's um, I go the American to, Legion is, mm -hmm. uh, uh, handles those and they place a wreath. And so that, unfortunately, that ceremony is going on at the same time yeah. as the 5K. Um, but then there's another ceremony Absolutely. after Absolutely, I the go 5K. to that one Talk too. Talk about they, that one. Where the, the American Legion puts a wreath in Pink Creek yes. and lets it float down representing uh, what they feel is is what they uh, need to do representing the Navy and all the all the veterans that sacrificed there. Right. Yeah. It's a real nice ceremony mm -hmm. right there at the bridge. Yeah, and the timing is perfect because the 5K is wrapping up, so yep. you get a nice little crowd to witness the ceremony yep, there's, that's there's uh, happening yep. in the yep. park there. It's really nice. Um, and Sorry. then after that, the big parade the, the in the parade village. Parade town, yeah. And that's fun. Everyone comes out for that. Yep. There's the... Uh, police department's 1941 yeah. Ford that <laughs> they usually have uh, the honored veteran. Do you yep. have any idea who the honored veteran is going to be this year? Are We're you, working on that. You're working. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're working on that. All right, we'll yeah. find out soon. But the, Memorial yeah, the whole Day, community we'll comes yeah. out, takes part in the parade. There's yeah. military Ooh. vehicles. The uh, high school's marching band comes out, of course. And uh, the North and Oakland Dixieland band has marched in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we usually get lucky with the weather. And then, of course, things wind down at the That's Veterans hard. Memorial uh, with a very nice ceremony. The, the fire department hangs the giant flag oh, over yeah. the uh, uh, M24 there. And uh, all the veterans and community come out to this beautiful, beautiful memorial that we have. Uh, right on M24. We are very, very lucky to have a place like this in Lake Orion that um, not only is utilized on Memorial Day, but throughout the year for yep. various events and coffee with veterans and all sorts. We've had weddings there too. Yeah, you really? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's great. Great. So it's, it's, it's a community uh, yeah. platform, so they can use it, you know. Yeah. It's at the that's ask. Yeah. You can use yeah. it. That's fantastic. Several yeah. church organizations have different. Uh, programs there. So. Yeah, yeah, and a big shout out to uh, Bob Watros for keeping it. Oh, up. absolutely oh, beautiful. There's absolutely. a community absolutely. garden there. One of our members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it's really a amazing job. resource. But it's always so. amazing to me is that's been there for what 11 years now. What 20 years? 21. Yeah, 21 yeah. years. 21 years. Yeah. 21, yeah. Years. Yeah. 21 years sitting there, and there's still people who've lived their life in Orion, yeah. and they have never seen stop the memorial. Yeah. Yeah. Really. And I feel that is one of the best memorials in the state of Michigan. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, they've, yeah it's, it's really nice. nice. Every once in a while, as I'm uh, coming down Heights toward M24 and I stop at the light there, I look to my left and I'll see families just sort yeah. of wandering the grounds, looking Absolutely. at the bricks, and it kind of warms my heart to see families yep, uh, right, going sir. there and visiting. Right. So. Yeah, our our parade of flags too is wonderful now. Yeah, that was the latest. And mission. that was the last. Every yeah. year or so we try, and even now it's a living memorial. If someone in the township has an idea, yeah, bring it to the board. We'll work on it and try our very best to support whatever idea they yeah. might have. Oh, it's just yeah, fantastic. it's wonderful. It's yeah. great, and we we got to mention uh, Dr. Joe Master Mateo. Absolutely. I, mean, I remember uh, being there on uh, the day where the land was turned over to the VFW, and I absolutely. remember seeing the shovels go on the ground. Uh, this back in the '90s, and yep. he was yeah. there at the 92. beginning, and yep. yeah, and he ushered this whole thing along, adding each component, including the beautiful statue that's in yeah. the center of the yep. court there. Mm -hmm. So Joe, yeah. is, is he's, he, you know, he. He was the uh, citizen of the year this year mm -hmm. at the at the big uh, 
township meeting that we had just had. Yeah. You know, the... Yep, uh, they, the they did the a surprise. The the township. They did surprise him there, didn't they? They did. I think yes. they, they did, did, yeah. They did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> gave him a Lifetime Achievement Award. Absolutely. Right. That, was that was wonderful. That's great. Yeah. That's great. It really was. was. Couldn't have gotten yeah. a better guy. Yep. Yeah. 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 I think he just retired as uh, the memorial he just president. Did. Bob Smith so. is taking over. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So uh, thanks everything that Joe yep. Master Mateo has done. Yep. Thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate it. Like every we time I venture out in the here. community, I see you guys somewhere. So yep. yeah. you're out job. there doing it. So. <laughs> That's our job. Yeah. yeah. On the video there, you like, see us carrying the flags. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, before we go, one last time. So the poppies are going to be out two this weekends week, in a row? No, this Seven weekend. Days. This weekend. In the first two week, weekends in May. Okay. Yep. So this weekend, the first weekend is going to be the Kroger's, and the second okay. and third will be everybody else. else. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. All right, so make sure uh, you hit the ATM machine and have some cash in your pocket. That would be nice. I don't carry cash much anymore, so. Yeah, big bills. Big bills. Yeah, yeah, we now, have adopted We that. now take credit cards. Oh, wow. Oh, there do you go. really? We yeah, do we do that all right. Yep. So oh, there you swipe. go. Swipe as you go. Well, it's not so much swiping. There's a Q card, oh, a Q symbol. You just do that, it takes you right to the site, you put your money in it. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's it's, great. Is it? A beginning of the future. Yeah, for yeah there most you of go. us. Yeah, <laughs> dollar bills are going away. Yeah. <laughs> they are. That's right. They're collectors' items. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, good luck with the poppy sales. And Thank I'm you. Sure Thank we'll you. see you guys Thank again you soon. Uh, uh, definitely is uh, on Memorial Day. I'm looking forward yep. to it. Absolutely. So. Thank you so much for having. Me.